Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Today's NTI day 10. Yesterday we talked about subtracting fractions and today we're going to look at adding fractions. We're going to continue to look at adding fractions with like denominators. We've been talking about fractions um, for about a month now. So I know it's one of you guys' favorite things to learn about in math class. I think that adding fractions are even more fun than subtracting fractions and they do get harder as we go along but for now we're going to start with the basis of adding fractions oh forgot my s all right let's get started uh, example number one okay we have three tenths plus five tenths i've already drawn out a bar that has 10 equal pieces okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to shade in three tenths two, three, okay? So if you look, I just drew that in, and I'm adding five tenths to it. So all I'm gonna do is shade in five more. One, two, three, four, five. And it's asking me, how many do I have all together? Well, if I count these up, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I know that I have 3 tenths plus 5 tenths equals 8 tenths. It's the same thing as yesterday. All you have to do is add the numerators. The denominator is the same. So you're just going to transfer that right over. You're just going to add your two numerators together, and it gets you your new numerator. We can look at that with our manipulatives that we have over here. Okay, so if we look, I've go ahead, I went ahead and put down three tenths, so one, two, and three. And I'm gonna add five tenths. Well, guys, if you look at this, all of these say one tenth on them. If you can see that. Well, all I have to do is grab five one tenths because I know that one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth plus one tenth actually gets me five tenths. This is the exact same thing. Okay, so I've got, right now I've got three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths. There you have it. There's our first example. So it's just like subtracting fractions. Okay, easy peasy. All you have to do is add those numerators. All right, example number two. Alrighty, this one's in blue, so I'm going to trade my pen to blue. Alright, so I have three-fifths plus one-fifth. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and shade in three-fifths. Right, there's my three-fifth. Okay, now I'm going to shade in one more fifth. So I know that that gives me one, two, three, four. So my answer would be four fifths and it adds up whenever we just look at our numer numerators three plus one equals four and I just go ahead and keep that denominator the same let's look at it with our manipulatives so right here I've got one two three fifths I'm gonna go ahead and add one fifth to the stack so now that gives me one two, three, four. So I know that my answer would be, or my sum would be four fifths. All right, another example. All right, we've got one fourth plus three fourths. Okay, I went ahead and I drew in my fourths. I'm gonna grab a green, so I've got one fourth right here. Now I'm gonna draw in three fourths. One, two, three. So all together, looking at my picture, I have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. Now we know that four fourths is the same thing as one whole. Let's look at it with our manipulatives. I have one fourth right here. I'm going to add in three fourths, two fourths, three-fourths, 
four fourths, and we know that when you get to the top of the tower, that equals one whole. So four fourths equals one whole. So I know that one fourth plus three fourths equals one whole. All right, last example. I know you guys are thinking, wow, I got this, and I know that you would. All right. We have five eighths plus two eighths. All right, well, I went ahead and I drew in my eights over here in the corner. I'm going to move this so you can see it better. Okay, I'm going to color it in. One, two, three, four, five. That's my five eights. Okay, everybody good with that? All right, now we're going to do two eights. One, two. So if I count this all up together, I've got one eighth, two eighth, three eighth, four eighth. Five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. So I know that my answer would be seven eighths. And I also know that if I add in my numerators, five plus two gets me seven, and then I keep my denominator the same because the no denominators are the same. The denominators are the same, just add that numerator. Let's look at it with manipulatives. All right, I have five eighths. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go ahead and add in two eighths. Well, in order to get to two eighths, I know that one eighth plus one eighth equals two eighths. Add that in. All right, let's count them all up. One eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, seven eighths. It all adds up. So guys, that would be my mini lesson on how to add fractions with like denominators. It's going to continue to get harder, but for now, looking at your test scores from yesterday, y'all are handling adding and subtracting so well when it comes to fractions. So um, you should have gotten a Zern lesson today, and now you should have watched my video. And now you're going to go take your five question quiz to show me that you did watch my video and you know how to add fractions with like denominators. Hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I will see you guys tomorrow.